Why are there no purple flip clocks? And why is this guy taking a Dremel to an unused, perfectly good flip clock mechanism? And how are these two things related? Well, let's find out. Welcome flip clock fans. And yes, there are no purple flip clocks. We're talking vintage flip clocks. We've got brown flip clocks and green flip clocks. We have kind of a fuchsia flip clock. It's supposed to be red. We've got kind of reddish orange, but we definitely have orange flip clocks. I'd like to say I was the one who discovered this, but it was my son Eli who discovered that there are no purple flip clocks, especially vintage flip clocks. And you can find flip clocks in yellow, which are awesome, very cool. And even bronze, this is anodized. You can find them in like a dark, dark brown, almost black, and actually black. And flip clocks come with like a silver front face, brush silvered there. And of course wood grain, tons of wood grain flip clocks. Now you can find real wood flip clocks as well, very awesome flip clocks. Even GE made a, a real wood flip clock. It's got a gold face there, but no purple. We have white flip clocks, of course. And even clocks that are supposed to be white and kind of off-white, or maybe they were supposed to be beige, I don't know. A lot of white flip clocks. We even have a clear flip clock. Supposedly a prison flip clock. The closest I have is a blue flip clock. Now, you've got to trust me. After my son brought this up to my attention, I looked around my collection, and then I thought, well, where are the purple flip clocks? So I looked up flip clocks on Etsy and just kind of searched around. Just thought, well, one will pop up here just pretty quick. Kills me is what pops up a lot of times when you search is flip flops. I don't know why they think I want flip flops for flip clocks, but as you see, that nothing, nothing really pops up here. Anything close to purple. Now, I've thought about that. Now, why in the world, why is that even a thing? Here's a green flip clock. Now, I actually bought this one off Etsy. That's my clock now. There's a video about that. So I keep, I kept looking and. There's simply no purple flip clock. So we go to eBay. Obviously, we'll find it on eBay, right? Um, not so. Not so quick. I went ahead and uh, let's switch here to gallery view so I can, we can see more at a time. Now, if there were purple flip clocks, one would just pop up. It's got to be a purple flip clock. It's just not there. Now, the closest I saw was this. So here we go. This is vintage, but it's not a flip clock. It is a digital rolling wheel type clock. Very cool but not a flip clock. So it makes you wonder, was there a lack of purple plastic? Was purple plastic hard to make in the beginning? But there's not even very many vintage flip clocks. Now, I trust you'll get on Google and search and try to prove me wrong. I'd like to know if there are, but I can't find them. Now, here's this mechanism. Now, check this out. This is brand new, or what they call new old stock, or never used. Uh, now, I got these back in the days when flip clocks were actually reasonably priced. Now, you can see here on the tiles, there are no indentions from the tines there. You can tell it's not been used. Now, there's the designation of the motor. You may have a clock that has one like this. Now, you look at the, what kind of clock would have this. This here is a sleep function to where if you turn it, it would uh, impact this micro switch here, which would turn on, on your radio so that you could listen to the radio and go to sleep, you know, like 15, 30 minutes. This micro switch here controls the alarm so that when the switch is unpressed, the alarm would be sounding. This here is a snooze. You can see that it would press the button in for a certain amount of time. We'll let time pass here. And then you wake up. You have to wake up now. Go to work. So you could probably try to figure out, well, what clock had this? It had a sleep function, had a snooze, an alarm. Now, I've had these for a while. Again, they did not cost me that much. Nowadays, people are trying to sell these for $80 and such. But uh, I have uh, several of these, and I thought, I want to make an upcycle flip clock. And I thought about it. What could I use these switches for? Well, I'm just going to put these into my stock. I thought about making an alarm clock, but you know, honestly, who's going to use an upcycled clock for their alarm clock to get up to go to work? They're not. They're going to use their cell phone. So let's just make it a upcycled flip clock using this. I wanted to do this for a while. I'll give you one guess as to what color we're going to make this flip clock and how we're going to pull that off. That's right. We've got to make us a purple flip clock. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm taking all this stuff off, and mostly what you have to do, there's screws, but 
and springs, but most of these things are these eclipse. We've got to get these clips off here so that we can just pull the gears off, pull these different mechanisms off, all these different bars and stuff. And I've got a plan. I've got some tubing from US Plastics, really good stuff, real high quality optical stuff. And I've used it to upgrade clock and, and make a clock, a beach clock. You might have seen that video. So I'm going to do that kind of style again. Now, I'm wearing goggles, believe it or not, because using all these knives and stuff, I might get metal in my eye. Did that one time. Now this here, this is not going to fit inside that tubing. I've measured it, I've checked it out, I've got to get that off. So I've got to do it the safest and cleanest way possible. To do that, I want to get this motor out of the way, because we've got to protect that thing. That's, that's an unused motor, very rare, when you think about it. Who knows how many are out there, these uh, unused mechanisms. You can see what a, what a new Copal 2 would be looking like. There's no wobble in it. There was no wobble in it when I first got it. No, it's fine. I need to get a keep that shroud on there. They're on there for a reason. We don't want to mess up that new motor. Now we'll get that out of our way because I'm going to do some stuff here. It's going to be pretty drastic. Now this is the sleep function. I had to get that motor off to get this off anyway. That's how you sleep to music. Get that off of here. But, you know, it makes you wonder, why are there no purple flip clocks? And I can't figure it out. I've, I've looked and looked online. Was there a lack of purple plastic? Was it uh, hard to make? Was it just not popular? If you can find a vintage purple flip clock, I'll thank you for it on a YouTube video. I don't know what I'll do for you, but let's, I'd be glad to see it if, I could, if you could find it. But it's just strange that someone who's not really that into flip clocks is the one who first noticed it. I've never heard anybody talk about that before. So yeah, I'm getting my Dremel out. Now I use this Dremel on flip clocks from time to time. I actually shape a, uh, I'm not going to show it, but I'll shape a uh, knob for a flip clock out of, out of uh, putty, out of an epoxy putty for this clock because it didn't come with a knob. So we're going to cut it off right there. So that's where we lead right back to the, where this video started. I'm going to cut this off, which is fraught with danger. You're looking at warming up a clock here that could mess up some gears. So I've got to try to be careful, but hey, this is my mechanism. It's my mechanism to mess up. And of course, I'm wearing goggles, and probably makes you want to wear goggles too. This is coming right at the lens. It's a wonder I didn't mess up the the lens on this thing, but it's just it's just kind of cool looking. Yeah, I did I did get metal in my eye once, and I'd heard that oh, you can get a really strong magnet, and they'll pull that metal out. Went to the doctor. He laughed. He said, "No, you don't do that." He said, "People tell me that all the time." He says, "No, you don't do that." And so what are you going to do? Well, there was a little spot on my eye, and like a, they call it a rust ring around it. It looked like a little halo of rust around it. He said, I'm going to scrape it right off. And he sure did. He scraped it off. And then he, he buffed it out. Get this. He buffed it out. He buffed out the cornea with like a Dremel tool. It was, it was a little rotary kind of like Q-tip thing. And he, he literally buffed it out with a Dremel type tool. And when I got that metal in my eye, I was actually wearing goggles. It had vents for air. And that, the whoosh of the Dremel brought that up under there. And I kept telling him that. And he goes, yeah, yeah, you don't have to convince me. He didn't believe me. Which doesn't matter whether you believe me or not. Good guy. Fixed my eye. So here we got it off. And that cigarette was hot. And I'm checking to make sure I didn't mess up something. Now this little bar here, this has to do with the sleep function. So I'm going to notch it here so that I can get it off. Try not to leave scars on this so that when I do get this clock built, it doesn't look so bad inside the tube. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make an upcycle flip clock with this. I've wanted to do this for years. I'm not going to show the process of doing that. That would be kind of boring. It does take a little while to make the upcycle flip clock. And if you see one on Etsy where someone's done that, whatever they're charging, that's not too much. It, it, it's really, there's no way to make money on that. I just can't see how someone can do that unless they're really set up to do it. So there it is. We've got this mechanism down to its bare bones. I'm going to sh cut this shaft off, kind of get it down, because I'm going to fit it inside of that tube, and I don't want it poking out. So we'll cut that shaft off, put a new kind of knob on it. I'm going to build that out of epoxy, kind of a putty. See if we can't make a purple flip clock. Well, here it is. This is the flip clock fans, purple flip clock, kind of a lavender purple. I wanted something that might fit into somebody's decor. But it had to be purple. We had to make a purple one. 
you see a little whirly gig going going to town got the mechanism kind of floating in there not really but it kind of looks like it I've hidden the cord now the cord is, I've got a nice like a uh, clear cord you know you, you can see the silver or the uh, aluminum I guess it's aluminum wire I got that at uh, best place you can get stuff like that is Goodwill so we got that at Goodwill off a lamp brought the lamp home proceeded to break that off and get that nice little cord in there I've got it hidden in the back to where it, like you can't even see the cord usually when it's sitting up well for better or for worse we've made a purple flip clock and I do trust that at least a couple of you are going to go out and prove me wrong that there are vintage purple flip clocks. Good luck and let us know. Well, thanks for taking the time.